as we have learned three different type of deadlock handling method which is deadlock prevention deadlock uh, avoidance and um, detection and recovery now let's go for the last one which is called deadlock ignorance or ostrich algorithm so there are the operating system design which assume that that my operating system will never come into the deadlock those operating system follow the deadlock ignorance method that method is also called ostrich algorithm now what is ostrich algorithm uh so ostrich we know that we, there is a bird called ostrich that bird if there is a uh, storm so what that bird will do is that bird will put their head into the inside the uh, earth okay they will put their head inside the earth and assume that no storm is there there is no storm at all so what they are doing is there is a storm but the bird is assuming that there is and and, and putting their head into the uh, earth and and assuming that there is no storm that particular process is called deadlock means in the system it is assuming that my system will never go into the deadlock so i'll not use any type of deadlock prevention deadlock avoidance or deadlock detection recovery algorithm okay so what is that deadlock ignorance algorithm so first thing is it will pretend imagine that there is no deadlock first of all this is the easiest way to deal with problem this algorithm says that stick your head into the sand and prevent imagine that there is no problem at all this strategy suggests to ignore the deadlock because the deadlock occur rarely but system crashes due to hardware failure compiler error and operating system bugs frequently then not to uh, pay a large penalty in performance or convenience to eliminate the deadlock so what will happen into the system what will 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 happen to many of the system if any of uh, and, and the operating system which is following the deadlock ignorance they are assuming that the frequency of deadlock into the operating system is very rare so why to waste the the uh, energy to find it out or to prevent the deadlock that is the idea behind deadlock ignorance and these type of operating system will assume that my operating system will never go into the deadlock or the scenario of getting into the deadlock is very very rare so they are not using any type of algorithm for preventing avoiding detecting or recovering this method is reasonable if deadlock occurs is very rare so we can use these algorithm these type of um, uh, method into the operating system but the condition is the deadlock occurrence into the system will be very very less second cost of prevention is high if we are using the prevention technique and if we are you if you are not using the prevention technique if the prevention technique is the cost is very high so for that we ignore it so we'll not use any prevention technique unix and windows take this approach resources memory cpu disk space are plentiful uh, if it is there then we have to take this particular approach deadlock over such resources really uh, ra uh, rarely occur this is not really rarely occur deadlock typically handled by the rebooting if we we'll do the rebooting the deadlock will be um, handled so we doesn't have to use anything we we'll just say that it is ignored or the trade off between performance convenience and correct correctness will be there then so these are the condition in which we assume that the will use the deadlock ignorance and it will be uh, very much uh, uh, very much um nowadays for unix and windows operating system there is no deadlock prevention avoidance algorithm 
but for the operating system where it cannot afford so as i told you in the very beginning that which particular uh, handling approach will use or which particular deadlock handling approach will use so it depend upon your application okay in which application your operating system has been used depend upon that we'll see we'll see whether we can afford the deadlock or the frequency of the deadlock is more so we have to use those avoidance or prevention algorithm but if the deadlock frequency is very less as well as its its uh, uh, effect cost is very low so why to use those prevention or avoidance algorithm very frequent so this is the idea behind deadlock ignorance or ostrich algorithm okay so what ostrich will do if there is a storm or the sand storm in the in the desert so what these ostrich will do is they will put their head into the sand and assume that no storm is going on okay so this particular shot of algorithm uh, has been uh, is is taken as a method and is called deadlock ignorance